What's going on, guys? Happy Wednesday. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. We got a special one. Man, I've been waiting a long time for this game. I, I think I was saying on the Discord, sometimes when you get in these these big box games that maybe uh, you, you know, you pledge for a long time ago, whatever the case may be, it's just been a long time. You get this in. You know, most get, or at least me, I get a sense of, man, this thing was actually real, <laughs> you know? You know, back when I was back and I was like, you know, you get all excited, but then some time goes by, you kind of forget about it. It's out of mind. You know, maybe you see an update or two. Um, and then you know it's still shipping. It's been a, over a year. You know it's shipping out and stuff, but it still doesn't feel like it's... <laughs> you get a little more excited, at least me, but when it shows up at your house and you see it, you're like, man, okay, this is cool. This is what I actually paid for over a year ago so uh very exciting lords of ragnarok this is a humongous box 35 inches long it's a monster so we're gonna open it up we're gonna check out what's inside i'm excited i have lords of hellas love lords of hellas it is a fantastic game I played a lot with my wife so i am very excited about this especially because uh they have revamped the solo rules so the solo I did play in Lords of Hellas wasn't a fan at all. Um, so hopefully this is a lot better. But we are going to see. Either way, it's going to be awesome. Even if the solo isn't as good, I'm still super excited to play. Uh, Sun Drop as well, which I usually never do. I usually save on that expense. But for this, spend no expense. Where's John Hammond when you need him? So... I went all out. Play Matt, you name it. So we're going to check out what's inside. Um, oh, and if it's anything like Hellas, uh, with a little bit of tweaks and stuff, I like the theme a little bit more with the uh, the Vikings, the Norse stuff. If it's anything like that, good. Awesome. <clears throat> so what's up, guys? We've got Rufus in the house. Rufus! Just reminded me of uh, Rufio from Hook. Rufy, oh, <laughs> what's up, dude? Uh, we got Brandon, still waiting on my shipping notification for this, but Tales from the Red Dragon Inn should be coming Friday. That's what's up. Okay, so you're still waiting for the shipping notification, but you're getting something else in, uh, okay, to kind of, uh, you know, smooth the blow. I like it, man. That's awesome, dude. Hopefully get your shipping notification soon. That's so cool. This is uh, especially true for AR games. They take so long. Yeah, but the one thing about AR games, though, is they are consistent. Like, when I back it, I don't feel bad about, you know, wondering if it's going to ship. Uh, and the quality is fantastic. Fantastic. I know that's 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 a great point, Rufus, that I actually thought about before coming onto the stream that I actually was probably going to forget about. But uh, me, you, Rufus, and Mike all got ours the same day, today. How crazy is that, man? So... That's awesome, dude. Man, we're dropping the 90s movie reference. Dude, always, always. Anytime I get with, uh, together with some buddies, man, that's all it is. It's Jurassic Park references, right? It's Die Hard references. You name it, man. That's that's the way to go. That's the way to go. Absolutely. So what's up, guys? Um, yeah, like I said, this is a humongous box. box. Freddy, Andrew, let's go big with this unboxing. What's up, dude? Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. It is a it is a big box. Uh, as Freddie knows, thirty five inches. <laughs> it's massive, man. It's massive. So yeah, we're gonna get into it. This is everything again. This is our book sleeves. Uh, the whole the whole shebang. The whole shebang. And I usually don't do this. And I will say before we get started, guys, um, if you are watching, you like what I do here on the channel, you like this video, please give the video a like. Seriously helps out the channel, helps out the video, feeds the algorithm. And if you like what I do here on the channel, think about subscribing. Uh, I do a lot of playthroughs and stuff like that. And if you do want to support even more, I do have a Patreon page. Description uh, is in the, the link is in the description below. Check it out. Access to the Discord. We have a fun time over there. So box definitely goes big yeah the box is rolling twos man and uh i i guess i should say we interrupt your normal too many bones programming to bring you a different game <laughs> i've just been so into bones lately but uh yeah so let's let's take a look at the uh at the box size it's massive i did open it up just to check 
um, just to see. But yeah, it's it is humongous, man. It is humongous. Thirty-five inches. Here's the uh, here's the top down. So it's just it's a ton of stuff. It's a ton of stuff. Massive, massive, man. Uh, and I did verify it is the sun drop. That was one thing I was like kind of worried about. I was like, uh, I don't see their look. Cause AR puts like, uh, they're in the, uh, what do you want to call it? The, not the skew number, I guess sort of, if they put like if it's sun drop or not. And I didn't recognize any of the, any of that. So I was like, I was wondering, but, uh, it is, it does look like it is sun drop. So. Uh, let's just get started. This is gonna be really chill. Um, we're just gonna start with the uh, with the core box. With the core box, man. I'm excited, man. Now, what do we? What do I want to do with this? You know what? Oh, yeah. All right. So in the box uh, came this letter uh, from Awakened Realms. Cameras, uh, cameras already, camera spazzed out, man. All right, come on, baby, come on. Oh my God, here we go. Camera's going big too, baby. All right, let's turn off all the focus. Let's get you back here. There you go. All right, calm down, calm down there. All right, so we got this little, uh, no, I guess this is just a letter thanking you, dear backer. Time has come, yes, baby. Okay. All right. Very cool. I may or may not read that later. All right. So here we go. Core box. Yeah, baby. Let's get it going, man. Let's get it going. Let's get this. I don't even know how long was it. The uh, how long ago was it? Was it a year? Was it over a year? I don't even remember. I wasn't following too closely with the updates. It was just kind of, for me with these crowdfunding games, man, once I once I back it, you know, I, I hear about the updates here and there. Maybe I'll check the page occasionally, but um, sometimes I'm just like, you know, uh, I don't care. If, when it shows up, it shows up. This is an experience AR unboxing. That's right, Rufus. That's right. So here we go. Artwork, amazing. Yeah, over a year. Okay, thank you, Brand. Artwork is amazing. I love this stuff. Love this stuff. Okay, right off the bat, we have two tiles right here. Niflheim and Jutenheim. Okay. Very cool artwork. To assemble your armies, follow the instructions below. Okay, so you gotta, that's right, they have these dials on them. That's right, you gotta do a little assembly. Okay, got the rule book, and guy who codes said it was 12 pages, and he was not lying. Okay. I usually don't have a problem with Awakened Realms rule books. Uh, I, I find that they're, they're pretty good, they're decent, not the worst. Okay, yeah, 12 pages, man. All right, well, that makes me happy. That makes me happy. All right, we got the solo rule book. Again, our work is badass. Set up, okay. All right, we got eight pages for the uh, solo rule book. Okay, we got some tokens here. Looks like a few. Looks like the mat underneath. So looks like two uh, sheets of tokens. And this is, you know, what I think I would have liked to see them if it was possible. Because Coloma has it. But on the board, I know this wouldn't have worked with the play mat. Uh, but on the board, you know, this sits on the board. Maybe have this be magnetic. Again, Coloma does it. It's uh, It's fantastic. Because I, I, I was watching a playthrough, I think, from a one-stop co-op shop, and it just seemed like it was sliding around a little bit. I'll have to see, but or maybe there's a reason it couldn't be done. I don't know, but all right. And then we have, okay, we have some characters right here. Aslog, Beowulf, Lagertha, Ragnar, Snorri. 
and we got some special abilities right here artwork is very cool these are cool as well you know they got a little it's not just a f straight square let's see uh i would have loved to see the magnetic wheel too yeah that's what i'm saying i you know it seems like it's definitely uh doable and it's not too uh hard to do so i would have liked to see that yeah these are cool though looks like you got some temples right here awesome all right and they are popping out very easily very cool very cool and we have the dials here as well bunch of dials these look like the runes but we did get the rune pack okay Alfheim, place your hero in any region or heal one injury okay Unheim, increase the value of one of your armies by one man i'm excited dude uh, last time I played um, Lords of Hellas was with my wife on that playthrough. And man, it should, I, the game is just so good. So again, if it's anything like that, but just with some minor rules tweaks, man, I'm, I'm super excited. I'm super excited. All right, so we got some tokens right here. Looks like there's going to be some for each color of player. And Awaken Realms does have some fantastic components. Even if you got this like uh, without sun drop or anything like that, you can tell these are little. These are, I guess you could say, engraved. Very cool. Very cool. And then it looks like each color has, you know, a different symbol on there. Got the uh, the green. I like this color green too. Is it supposed to be a bear? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be a bear. There you go. There you go. Uh, some rubber bases. Looks like there's two for each color, these rubber bases. And these are probably for the monsters, right? Okay. All right, very cool. I got this dark gray color right here. I don't know what that's supposed to be. All right. Uh, smaller bases, maybe for your hero or something like that. Uh, some baggies. Uh, Brunhild, the Valkyrie. Monster control, okay, cool. Uh, Fafnir, so these are some, uh, some bosses. Okay, okay. Let me check out some of these cards. Oh man, there's I'm looking at the player board right underneath. Man, it looks it looks really good. Okay, so these are all okay, boss. Is this supposed to be Loki? Yeah, okay, Loki. Yeah, and I'm glad they kept like this. This was a really fun part um about monster hunting. You know, you had to match these symbols with the cards and stuff like that. So it looks like they might have kept that. Loki, and then you have, uh, okay, the monsters. We got Fafnir. And that artwork is cool, man. Look at that. Look at that. Fafnir. Grendel. <laughs> yeah. Hades and Skull. Dude, that is, that is sick. That is sick. Got a troll. Come on, camera. Come on, camera. There we go. Huldra. It's trying. And a Draugr. Board Halfling. Love the AR artwork. Yeah, man. It's, it's, it is too good. It is too good. And we didn't take a look at, uh, at Loki here. There's Loki. Yeah, their artwork is amazing, man. Is it the same artist? Is it? Because it feels like, this feels like Nemesis art. You know what I mean? And probably like Stalker, uh, the new campaign. It feels like that artwork. Too Human, which was also uh, this kind of sci-fi Norse mythology. Yeah, okay. I've never heard of that. 
and I didn't I I didn't mind at all uh, Lords of Hellas. You know that was with the uh, the Greek mythology with the sci-fi thing, and I didn't mind. I thought it was I thought it was super cool. I mean, if you want Greek mythology games or you know Norse mythology games strictly, you know there's probably plenty of games out there. You know to have a game that you know mixes it up a little bit. Uh, I just think it's you know it's unique, right? So it's okay for one game out of how many to have that. I think it's all right. But I can see some people being like, you know, it's a little bit too sci-fi, you know, for me. Beautiful cards, yeah, absolutely. Uh, these player boards are awesome, man. These player boards are awesome. Let's check these out. The minis. Oh, they look so good. <laughs> yeah, this is like my first sun drop. Oh, this is this looks great. This looks great. Yeah, so these boards very cool. Tell the dual layer right there. Uh this is as well. If you can't see, yeah, there you go. Shine, I'll give it away. So then it looks like. And what's really cool, which I really like with these notches in this, you know, there's notches in here. So there's two at the top, two at the bottom. So, you know, not saying it's that big of a deal and you're, and you're ever going to hold your player board like this, but, you know, it's not going to go anywhere. You bump it around and stuff. That's, that is. Just something, some small detail like that is really cool. I really like these boards. And then this is even uh, the layer as well. And just the, you know, just the design. Just the design. Very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. All right. And then you got three more each for the other colors. And it looks like the writing inside, like all of this, is the same. And, you know, there's just like this orb or whatever you want to call it. It's just different colors. And then uh, it's just got the different symbols over here. Right here. Very cool. Awesome. That is awesome. I know. No, you're not the only one, man. You, it, There's just something about it, right? There's just... When it comes to board games, you just want premium stuff. That's part of the whole fun about it is just picking up these components and moving them around and stuff. So when you have really high quality stuff, it just it makes for uh, you know a slightly better experience. You know, it's there's something to that. It just feels right, like you said. It just feels right. It just feels right. All right, so we got some baggies. I want to say like four. Looks like four, maybe five. Probably one for each. Uh, color player color they look so good they look so good i'm so happy with these okay i'll try to do it justice look at that <laughs> i'm so happy with it i'm so happy with it that is awesome that is awesome are there, I usually try to say what they are when I'm going through it. That's Aslog. All right, so that was Aslog. Next up, it looks like we have Beowulf. This is Beowulf. And it's got an axe too, man. I'm a sucker for these like these war axe. War axes. Battle axe, yeah. Oh man, that looks so good. Alright, this is uh This is Lagatha. I'm pretty sure, yep, Lagatha. They look, they look so good, man. Look at this. I'm, I am so happy. I'm so happy. Looks fantastic. Yeah, Freddie's right, man. Freddie's right. Spot on. 
really over the top skull thing they are does I know they just look out of this world man can get uh cluttered like in a uh, tainted grail but here it looks right yeah and I even I even got the uh the monster mini pack for tainted grail but you know you just never need them really so I was like I so I sold it but even those I mean they look fantastic as well Brian Jenkins what's up man played this game on Father's Day so much fun <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. I love to hear it, man. And this is, uh, who is this? Is this, no, this must be, oh, the, I totally missed it that the mini uh, sculpt is on the bottom. So this is, who is this? Oh, here it is right here. Oh, this is Ragnar. This is the one I'm playing with first. I love the Viking series. Ragnar was my man. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, dude. Yes, sir. All right. And this is uh, Snorri. Look at that. Dude, look at that. Fantastic. Fantastic. And this is, uh-oh, and this is the, oh, you know what happened. This is the Valkyrie. You know what happened. Brunhild. Okay. What happened was something happened with me following, and then I had to add the Valkyrie later. What exactly happened? It was something like that. So I guess she wasn't included in the sun drop. <laughs> but look at the difference, dude. Well, I guess I'm never playing with her because <laughs> when I got these uh, sun drop guys, I mean, just look at the uh, look at the difference, man. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I think that's what happened. So she's not sun drop. That's that's quite unfortunate. That's quite unfortunate. See, uh, hi roller. What's the gameplay like? Glad I could make another live stream. Yeah, man, absolutely. Welcome. Thank you everybody for coming, uh, stopping on by. If you haven't yet, please helps out the channel. Seriously, if you like the content, you like what I do here on the channel, you want to support a little bit more, just give the video a like, man. And if you're not subscribed, maybe think about subscribing. A lot of playthroughs, stuff like this, hangouts. Uh, let's see. Uh, but what's the gameplay like? Oh, you're probably asking Brian. Um, Sun drop is easy to do if you have a few supplies. Yeah, and you know what? I like if you've seen some of my other videos. I like I can do uh, like rock and rubble and stuff like that pretty well. So I might I might attempt it. Yeah, probably just put out like a black coat, and maybe just try to find this color. If it's not exactly like this, yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine. I know the difference is crazy, man. All right, so there are three. There are six. Of these sculpts, of this sculpt right here. And it is a little hard to tell about this guy being in Sun Drop, but he is. Still fantastic. Two battle axes. Yeah, man. Let's give her Prime and a wash. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then you got these, uh, oh, dude, even, like, even these are just so cool, man. Yeah. Lots of win options, more balance than Lords of Hellas. Okay, you so Brian, you've played Hellas as well. I love Hellas, man. Hellas is fantastic. They have a cool change of monster hunting. You get credit for the kill if you contributed to more than half. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I really enjoy Hellas. That's cool. That's awesome, man. Okay. And there are uh, so there's gonna be six of each of the colors I don't know is this just a little empty spot for placing tokens or something we'll check it out this guy right here very cool and then I guess we'll just take briefly we'll just take a look at I think this just pops off yep all right there it is so then I guess you would just put one of these dials underneath, right? Something like that. 
And I guess, is this supposed to represent kind of the strength or how many units this one unit consists of? And then you would just put this underneath. I'm assuming this is a, if it's not, I'll just take it off. But I am assuming it is. I'll, I'll fix it a little bit more later. But then you got this here. There you go. And it looks like all of the ships are the same, so we won't take a look at each of the ships. Yeah, they do look the same. I do just want to show this is this is a beautiful color right here. That is a beautiful color. Uh, and then so there are. Yep, I already said see. Oh, this guy looks awesome, man. Yeah, man. These guys just look so cool, man. <laughs> Mike, what's up, man? <laughs> nice game. Yeah, dude. Yeah, uh, me and Rufus mentioned at the beginning, man, that it's cool that all three of us got it at the same day, on the same day. That's so awesome, man. It's so cool. Thanks, Mike. You too, man. You too. Dial, dial prevents board clutter. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. That makes sense. That makes sense. And I will check out these guys right here. Very cool. Very cool stuff. Oh, really, Brandon? Really? When's the PM open again? Steven, what's up, man? Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's weird that it's in the box, right? It's in the box. It was a separate edition because, again, something happened with me in the follow. Because I think you, if you followed the campaign and then you pledged something, I forgot. But then I had to add her separately. I messaged him. I was like, yeah, could I just get the Valkyrie? Eh, you got to. So I was like, okay. So I thought maybe that was the case, but maybe not. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So that is this tray right here underneath of this put this over to the side here okay uh, looks like we have some priests if they're still called priests so there's four of each of these guys very cool stuff oh yeah dude look at that that's awesome Oh, that's awesome. These are these are pretty tiny too. Look at that. That's just fantastic job. Fantastic job. Nice. for these guys very happy with it very happy okay uh, we got a few cards right here we have some stands for I guess for the temples but it seems like we're not going to be needing that we've got a plastic baggie and then underneath we have the monsters uh, I, I just have to I have to take this guy out and I think they reduced the like the, what is it, the stage or the level. So in uh, Hellas, it was what, five? Was it five? And I think this one went to four, something like that. Let's, let's be easy until I know. I think it's just... I don't want to break this thing. I mean, I can see. Ah, oh, there it is. It's starting to come. Let's try it. Let's try somebody else. For, I guess we could take a look at him, but. That's, oh, yeah. Yeah, Odin. Odin looks like a boss. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's, it looks like it's right there. I just, 
I don't want to, I don't want to break it as, you know, the first day I got it, but to look at that, look at that, look, this is so fucking cool, man, look at this, oh my god, that is awesome, man, that is so cool, <laughs> And for uh, for scale, so here's the other. Yeah, man. Yes. And it's got his base here. Yeah, I'll. I don't want to break him. I'll. I'll figure it out after. But he seemed. Uh, he seemed pretty tight. That is one kind of semi complaint I had about Hellas. They just seemed like they were way too loose. Dude, that is just. It is so cool, man. All right, and then here are these the. Oh no! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. These are okay, 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 okay. Those these aren't the monsters. I mean, these do these do come apart. Yeah, head and torso. Yeah. Yeah. See, I see the I see the break. It looks like right there. I just don't want to... Jason, what's up, man? Okay, there we go. All right, so you can see... Okay, so it's only... Okay, okay. So it's only three pieces. All right. So it's just the base. Okay. Then this main part. Okay, that makes it easier. It makes it easier to build a full uh, monument as well. That's what it called monuments, right? Monuments. Okay, then you just put the head back on. Very cool. Yeah, but she looks badass, man. Badass. So cool, man. Oh, let's actually let's actually put them back. Yeah, I can't. I can't believe it's here. It just feels like me and uh and Jason Adkins from the uh, Discord. We were just talking about this game like a while back, and it just it just one of those things. It just always felt forever out. You know, it's just and now it's it's finally here. It's just crazy, man. Uh, we got Thor here. Yeah, baby. That's so cool, dude. These these are badass. These are badass. These are really cool. Okay, so it's just... Is it just the heads? Odin, Freya, and Thor. Gotcha. I don't know. This just seems... It, it'll probably loosen up a little bit with, uh, with play. Okay. So it's just the heads. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Heads in this whole body part. All right. All right. I'm with you. I'm with you. Sweet. There is Thor. Man, these things are so freaking cool. All right. Then you got the monsters. Let's take a look at the uh, the cards as we go through it. Um, okay, this looks like Fafnir. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Brandon. Yep, yeah, the sun drop probably just makes it a little bit tighter. But I'm, I'm expecting it'll loosen up a little bit over time. Come on, camera. This camera, man, sometimes it just does not cooperate <laughs> come on man <laughs> all right there we go a little bit and you can tell like look at the base too like the base they did some good work on the base as well awesome awesome uh, let's see much tighter yeah i know 
Yeah, again, Hellas, uh, they were they were pretty loose. They were pretty loose. Wish I would have backed this. They might come back around, Jason. I don't know. F four pieces total. Okay. Four pieces total. I think it's right there. Yep. Oh, man, it is, it is tight. It is tight. Okay, there it is. There it is. Okay. I was gonna say three seems a little uh a little bit like two less. Like not enough, I should say, actually. There we go. There we go. Okay, I like four. I like four a little bit better. Alright, there you go. Okay. I mean it's just gonna take Nobody else is allowed to, to take it off and put it on except me. <laughs> like if I'm playing a game like, and I tell my wife, yeah, we got to add another, uh, got to add another level. She goes to grab it. What are you doing? <laughs> no, no, no. I don't want it to break. All right, we got, uh, so this is Loki. Dude, come on, man. Uh, let's see. There we go. The little Lords of Ragnarok backdrop, too. Loki. Loki looks badass. Now those are, yeah, it's like a, it's like a serpent wrapped around him. What did my say about 35 inch box? <laughs> Very nice. Uh, expect to see in store soon. Yeah, just a retail. Um, she doesn't know yet. She's not home yet. She's not home yet. But I actually think I actually think she would be legit excited for this because she does like Hellas. She's played Hellas a few times. She really likes it. She likes to claim that she always beats me in it, which is completely false. It's completely false. <laughs> um, it would get it retail just like every other AR game. Okay, cool, cool. That's good. To, that's good to hear. All right. This is a Draugr. There we go. But plus, Brandon, this uh, this camera, it's not. It doesn't have a great uh, autofocus. It's it's not that great. I usually always have problems. I made a video about like uh. It looks really cool too, of like top. I forget what the title was, but you know, just crazy moments that happened in 2022. And I swear I was gonna put there was like so many camera things not in that video. I meant to put some, but um, I didn't. But trust me, throughout the year, plenty of times I'm trying to focus on cards, minis, what what have you. And it's just something about this camera. Everything else is great, but the autofocus is kind of lacking sometimes. Oh no, what is that? Yeah, I know, I know. Well, my my wife's question usually is, when did you get this? Like, when did I buy it? When did I purchase it? And my usual response is, it's like over a year ago. And she goes, uh-huh, you say that ever about, about each one. And I'm like, but it is true. <laughs> I know it seems like I'm making it up, but it's true. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. This is the troll. Dude, this is actually really cool. I love the trees on top of them. Dude, this thing is badass. Oh, I really like this one. I really like this one a lot. I mean, they're all they're all really cool. That just seems so unique. All right, and this is a uh, Haiti and Skull. Two wolves, wolves. 
Dude, these the, the scalps are just they're just so amazing. They're so amazing. This was like uh, late twenty twenty one. Okay, okay. Every Kickstarter game bought over a year ago. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. I was like, no, I didn't. Buy. It's not recent. Or I go, you know, I, the campaign was uh, over a year ago. We said, well, when did you pay for it? I was like, you know, around the same time. <laughs> around the same time. And what is this? Is uh, I have I have reduced greatly the amount that I've I've spent. Uh, this is who the hell is this? I know it's right in front of my face. Uh, Grendel. No. Is it Grendel? Yeah, it's it's Grendel. Just, I mean, amazing, amazing stuff. And you can see, like, even down here, it's like his fists hit the rock, and it's, like, coming out in all, all directions. Sun drop. Yeah, Steven, what's up, brother? Mech Warrior Mech. What's up, Jordan? Mech Warrior Mech. This is, uh... This is honestly, I, I love this man. I love this a lot. Okay, and uh, I have to take a look at what these cards are. Uh, Thor's daughter uh, artifact cards. Okay. Okay, artifacts. We got Mjol Mjolnir here. Use it to start of your turn. Draw one combat card. Okay, very cool. Uh, and these are oh, again yeah, the god specific ones. So is it still the same? You what do you do? You shuffle these. You place one under the uh, the base of the of the uh, monument. That's what you did in uh, Hellas, or whoever uh, controlled it. You get the artifact. Grendel's arm. Use when you perform the usurp action to ignore the population strength or total army value for the purpose of that action. Sleeping potion troll. Use it to start or end of your hero step. Decrease the value of one army in a region with your hero by two. Okay. Very cool. Use it to start of your turn. Heal one injury. That could be cool. All right. Take a look at more of those later. I am going to try to have a playthrough semi soon. Um, still going through a lot of bone stuff. There are a few other games, but I'm going to... I'm going to try for next week. We'll see. Oh, we've got some event cards. And these look like some uh, some combat cards right here. Uh, Bo, when you play this card to deal a wound to a monster, draw a combat card, then discard one combat card from your hand. Okay, that's pretty nice. Cycle through, you know, maybe find something uh, a little bit better that you need. Uh, deals one. Um... Yep, and this is for battle archers. Immediately decrease the value of one of your opponent's armies in the battle by one. Armies may not be killed this way. And it looks like you got to sack one of your own guys. Or uh, That's kind of what the symbol is. you got to, like, what, defeat one of your own guys? Something like that. Maybe reduce your army strength. So there are a bunch of cards. And it looks like they do give enough space. You can take this out for sleeves. Okay, blessings for solo okay some reference cards some blessing cards all right very cool um i just had four kickstarters arrive in the last week makes it look like i've been suddenly sp yeah I know. yeah that's crazy man uh monument artifact comes with the controlling monument area yep uh you also get artifacts from certain wounds to monsters okay gotcha gotcha yeah it sounds it sounds similar to hellas uh, okay, Atoma cards. All right, all right. It looks like more. Uh, this is basic AI. All right, so maybe this is a and this looks like the same kind of design on the side. So I guess these are all solo cards. Yeah, this is the this is the whole shebang, Mike. Yep, sleeves and all, brother. Sleeves and all. All right, so that looks like it. And then we have the two dice. For monster movement and what whatever they do, uh, attack, you know, movement, stuff like that. Do their special ability, whatever it's called. Uh, their region attack and stuff like that. Uh, not to detract from this game, uh, but would you recommend Osworn or Massive Darkness 2 for solo gamer? Uh, yes. Um, 
Osworn, yeah, definitely. Massive Darkness 2, definitely. I really enjoy both of the games. Uh, Osworn is really cool because you can uh, control, like, if you want to main control a certain character and then just have three is kind of like slightly less, uh, you know, having to control them a little bit less. Uh, there's a great system that you can do that. So you can still play with four heroes, but you don't have to do a full character control with all of them. I really like the system that they use for that. Um, and then Massive Darkness 2, yeah, absolutely. A lot of fun. Both games, though, just take a crap load of time to set up and go through. Uh, a lot. If you just get, like, the core game of Massive Darkness 2, it's not as bad. But, uh, but yeah, I, I really enjoy all those games, for sure, for sure. Um, I'm definitely going to be messing up how to put this back, but I'm not really... I'm okay with that for right now. Is this... Was this turn? Do I have these? Maybe it's like this. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll figure out exactly how to put it back later. I think we're just going to slide this on, this bad boy. Put this on. And then we'll put this on. Alright, so that is those. Let's take a look at the board. stuff <laughs> nice roof is nice all right let's take a look at this and that's one thing too this board looked gorgeous gorgeous and there's one the lords of hellas playmat it's not that great it's really not that great the colors were way off is this uh do I have it upside down? I don't think so. Yeah, the colors were way off from the board. The board looks so much better than the uh, Lords of Hellas play mats. So I was hoping this would look a little bit better. I think it looks. I think it looks fantastic. Now I'd assume there are two sides. Is there an addition for more players or for less players? I'll have to figure out what all this is, but do you add certain things? I'll have to figure it out later. <laughs> I'll have to figure it out later. Uh, but the board looks fantastic. Let's take a look at the other side. I guess it would have some sort of symbol, some sort of indicator. the very least yeah man i just i i think they really could have done it man uh just had a magnet inside you know just right here it's not on the line you know just having a magnet just snapping that on that just would have felt so good they really should have done that they really should have done that okay so this so this is the, I see the two player symbol. So this is gonna be for two players and solo. And then we'll just go here, okay. All right, all right. I guess I kind of would have wished, like, you know, cause if you hold it like this, everything sideways, I guess it's okay. I wish they might have been able to do something a little bit different with the layout, like maybe changed it somehow. Okay. Um, still, our work is, you know, fantastic. But yeah, I wish they would have maybe been able to change it up a little bit, the orientation. Uh, let's see. There's an addition in the stretch goal box for the five-player board. Okay, okay. Awesome, awesome. All right, very cool. Board is gorgeous. Absolutely fantastic. I love the artwork. Color scheme, you know, it's very colorful. Um, awesome, awesome. Feels like a thick board too. Like a very thick board. Yeah, like I want to say it feels like it's, it, it feels like very reinforced. Like it does... 
I don't know. It just feels like a stronger board than normal. I could be way wrong about that, but uh, that's just what it feels like right now. Okay. That is the core box. That is the core box. Uh, let's move these off to the side a little bit. Yeah, so we got the sleeves and the art book. Uh, we'll maybe flip through this later if we kind of determine we got time. Next up, I guess I'll just pull straight from, uh, you know, whatever's next. Seas of Aegir. Thick boys ain't go through first. Got them thick boys, baby. <laughs> okay. Let's see. All right, so there's another boss in here, as well as the rule book. Nothing else. Man, if I, am I going to have to keep this little box? I guess so. Okay, in here, looks like we have, are these, yep, yeah, these look like boats. Man, these are, these are so cool. So there are four of each. Look at these little boats. Look at these. They're, they're nice. <laughs> you pull, <laughs> I just rip it all off, Mike. <laughs> These boats are sick, man. He's even got the little waves right here. Fantastic. Yeah, these little boats are tight, man. Oh, snap. Look at this. Look at this crazy thing. What in the hell? Dude, look at this thing. Dude, that's wild. Look at that. Instead of a sail, it's like got this... Oh my goodness, dude. That is awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. All right, and who is this? Is this uh, Aegir? I'm probably butchering that. Uh, here we go. Oh, look at these. Look at this. Look at that. Yeah, that ship. That ship is sick. Uh, that's the only thing about these uh, big box kicks out are so many boxes that never combine well. Yeah, and I was able to uh, combine Hellas pretty well. I don't have the sun drop, you know, they're just, you know, I don't feel as uh, bad about throwing them around as I would with these. So I just, I combined a lot of it, but this just seems like I'm not going to be able to. Oh, this guy is, uh, this guy is crazy. Yeah, like especially with the sun drop stuff, I'm going to want to keep that, you know, pristine in its own box and stuff. Let's see if we can get the focus, because this guy's cool. There you go. Look at that. Look at that, dude. Uh, this is going to be so fun, playing with this stuff. Dude, and look, it like it, it's like tattered rags. <laughs> dude, that is so cool, man. Okay. Let's see if this back right... Okay, we got some uh, other cards here. Looks like uh, other artifact cards. And then we do have the... It was the yellow we were missing, right? So this is going to be the fifth player. So the yellow ships right here. And I think all of the ships... All of the ships are the same. Yeah, all the ships are the same. They're just a different color. All right. Not even going to put that box on. This is sticking out a little bit. So I'll figure this out later. Put this over here. All right. Very cool. And we got the bars. Yeah. Uh, let's see. 
Definitely will need a, a storage solution. Yeah, I can't wait to try out some of these uh, these add-ons. Dude, the stuff looks amazing. Shouldn't have to worry about these Sundrop Minis. If anything, the process they do actually makes them. Okay, all right. All right. I think the core box I'll at least uh, I'll keep as is. Maybe with some of these other add-ons. Uh, I'll try to combine somehow. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe a ba uh, some baggies, tackle boxes, combination of both, some other boxes. That is cool, man. Dude, look at the look at the ship. That's the ship. Players cannot send priests to a monument or make alliances with a realm that is adjacent to a sea with Nagofar. May only be hunted by players uh, with two slain monsters already. Dude, this stuff. Oh my goodness. It's just it's, that's so cool. Alright. Next up, we got the terrain pack. Terrain pack. And even if I didn't get the sun drop, like I, I love adding terrain and stuff like this to the board. Gives it a little bit more 3D presence. I just like kind of, you know, bringing the games to life a little bit more. Uh, let's check this out. So is this going to be... Are these sun drop as well? Alright, so it looks like these are the temples. These are just... This stuff is badass, man. Oh, I can smell these. I can smell these. Or something. It does smell like a, like a finish or a paint. Yeah, these are, these are really nice. Are these for the uh, cities? Is this for the, a city? I think so. It looks like it would be one. Come on, man. There you go. Look at that. Dude, that is just so cool. Got the little huts. Got the Jarl's house. Yeah, those look like cities. All right. And these are wild. Are these all different? These are all different. Okay, these are all different right here. I'm going on eBay shopping for this. I believe it, dude. Yeah, there's a, there is one. I think there was one I saw on eBay. Mike might have one for you, Steven. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mike might be selling it. Mike, are you still selling? Look at this, dude. This is awesome. Yeah, last I heard, Mike was debating. I don't know if he changed his mind. Dude, this is... Oh, my. Look at this. I mean, it's just... I just... Uh, they they do such a... Look at this, man. They, such a fantastic job. <laughs> it's just... That is so cool, man. Let's think of this. Yeah, yeah. Think of the salad. Yep. Yeah, because I think the eBay price that I saw was like three fifty. It was for, uh, you know, the box. I don't know. Are the stretch goals, is everything inside of the box? No, it is a separate box. We'll take a look at the stretch goals next. I think it was the stretch goals in the core box for uh, three fifty. Dude, these these are amazing, man. These look fantastic. Come on, man. <laughs> it's just these uh it's just so cool, man. Uh let's see, uh strong possibility waiting on the latest medical bill cycle before I decide. It sucks, Mike. You gotta keep it, man. You gotta keep it. You gotta keep the game. Are these hands? Uh, 
Come on, man. There you go. There you go. Nice. Let's look at these. So there was, uh, I was, I watched One Stop Co op Shops review on the solo mode. And there was one thing he was talking about. Was it the, the Ragnarok cards? I think it was. Or was he saying it triggered too fast? I want to say. I'm definitely going to try, I mean, I'm going to be playing this mostly solo. Uh, if I do find that to be the case, maybe I'm not, like, able to play the game as much because, like, maybe Ragnarok's being triggered too fast. I'd have to look into it, so I might not know what I'm talking about. I might just try to change that up a little bit. This is just, these things are crazy cool. Got this one right here. Awesome. And then last one. It's just, just gorgeous. Top quality. All right, that is the terrain. Put that over here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to whiff of something from that. Let's take a look at the uh, the stretch goals. Those are the realms you're looking at. Okay, strictly decorative, but so cool. Yeah, dude, they looked amazing. Okay, the realms. All right. All right, so these are the stretch goals. I'm so happy with the sun drop. And uh, it sucks because it's going to make me want the sun drop for... If I back anything from them in the future, I'm not going to back Stalker. Uh, the only other thing I'd probably be considering is uh, the new Nemesis coming up. So, I don't know. The Sun Drop just looks... It looks good. It looks really good. Alright, stretch goals. Running out of room. Rule book. Fenrir's in here and Jormungunda. The World Serpent. A Kraken. Release! Oh, and there's the uh, the sideboard. Okay, okay. Okay. There's Helheim. Sweet. Dude, that looks, that guy looks, that guy looks so cool, man. Okay, all right, so here's the uh, the extra board for five players. If you're playing with a fifth, just attach this. Looks like a lot of snow areas. A lot of snow areas. Very cool. And it is just the single side. All right. And this looks like the fifth player right here. We got this. <laughs> Just rip off that plastic every time. Every time, man. I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, these are these are nice. Uh, so again, six of those, four of these priests. Wearing like that ox head or whatever it is. Looks like, looks like they're serving a platter or something. Serving a platter of whoop ass. <laughs> no, don't listen to me. Alright, we got the uh, their board here. Same deal as uh, before. I'll just set that with the other ones. Okay, let's take a look at these cards. Over here, 
Okay, so we got uh, Yoramengunda. However you want to say it. Sweet. Fenrir, hell yeah. Hell yeah. And we got the Kraken. Oh, dude, that looks awesome. All right. So let's take a look at... Who is this? Just do the... Uh, this is... Scold. Very cool. I was gonna say it even looked like it looked like a few spots in there were like a bluish hue, but I think that's just the light reflecting off something. Stripped that last to go. So the only thing I just wish. I wish they would have made this guy a little bit bigger. That's all. I do. I wish they would have made the world serpent just a little bit bigger. You know what I mean? It just feels like this is like the biggest monster. And he's like one of the smallest. It's cool, no doubt. But just something. It's just a, like a little bit bigger. Definitely cool though. Okay, and then we have the Kraken. This guy is awesome, dude. Release the Kraken. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. Yes. <laughs> this, this guy looks amazing. <laughs> that is so cool. And then we have uh, Fenrir right here. Yeah, man. Look at this. Look at Fenrir. That is amazing. Amazing. All right. And then we have... Who is this? This is Ejil. Edgel. Come on, baby. Tim, what's up? Yeah, the minis look fantastic. They do. Absolutely. Sounds like my uh, my wife just got home, so dog's barking like crazy. This is uh, incredible, man. Incredible. If I wasn't going to play with Ragnar first, I'd play with this guy. And then we have, who is, who are you? This is, maybe I shouldn't just throw the boards away. Who is this? Three arrows. Did he have three arrows? Yeah, three arrows. You're right. You're right. Who is this? This is... Why am I missing this? Heimdall. This is Heimdall. This is Heimdall. This is Heimdall. This is Heimdall. I mean, it's just incredible, man. Just incredible. Come on, camera. Oh. Right. And then we have finally we have this is hell. And so got some uh, Lords of Ragnarok stuff. This the sequel to Lords of Hellas. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna have to play it one day. So Yeah, I am. 
Yeah, just thought I wanted to tell you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. Why don't you go get some sleep? Yeah, I'm really tired to go like run some stuff. But... Okay. Okay. All right, see ya. All right, this is hell. Loki's in his stretch goals. No, he's in the uh, he's in the main box. He's in the main box. So this is hell. Oh, we just had it too. Yeah, Loki is in the uh, he's in the main box. Look at this scythe. Holy smokes, <laughs> dude! Oh, I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to play. Uh, okay, let's set these. Let's set these over here. Got the base for Heimdall. I'm so excited to play. Okay, we got some cards here. More Atoma cards, more combat cards. Okay, that's for hell. All right. Artifacts, I'm assuming. Okay, all right. Giant Claw, Kraken, Monster Artifact. Use at the start of your turn. Move your or your opponent's uh, Drakkar up to two Cs. Very cool. All right, that is the, that is the stretch goals box. We have a few smaller boxes here. Let's set this off and run out of space. Three smaller boxes. Guardian of Bifrost expansion. Oh, nice. Knit of Lear. Mini expansion, Children of Loki expansion. Okay. So is this just adding other game modes as well? Oh, that's pretty cool. All right. <clears throat> Stretch goal, is, it, is there anything else? I don't think so. Okay. And then the play mat. Uh, let's look at the yeah monster variety pack. We'll just open up all these so I don't have to keep doing this. And this is the Frost Giants. Yes. All right, the Monster Variety Pack. <clears throat> there you go, Mike. Get it. Let's see. Yeah, these are definitely going to have to be combined. There's no way I'm just keeping this little thing uh, on the shelf. Okay. So it looks like there are four additional monsters in here. Uh, rule book doesn't say what they are. Let's take a look at their cards. Alright, so we have um, Nid Hog Nid Hogger uh, Garm uh, Noken and Mare Okay, I'm actually not Garm, I think I've yeah, I've heard of Garm before I don't think I've heard of the other ones Okay Alright, let's see this is Garm right here. <laughs> yeah, man, dude, look at this guy. <laughs> oh, it's badass. Oh, what else we got? This is <clears throat> a Noken. Noken. Amazing. Amazing. Oh no, I'm sorry. That, yeah, that was him. Uh, this is Mare. Thought she was like strumming a guitar first and just got the hands like. 
Yeah, like she just played it. She just strummed. That's all I'm seeing now. <laughs> and this is a Nidog. I have no idea how to pronounce that. This thing is crazy. It's like a pterodactyl. It's like a demon pterodactyl type deal. I told, uh, told Jill she couldn't watch the stream. She'd love these minis. Dude, they're amazing. I mean, you got it, Mike. Open up the box and show her. Rip off the plastic. Just just jump right in. Just show her, man. I've got the, uh, the artifacts here. The Guardian's Jaw. Monster Artifact. Use at the start of your turn. Ally any realm. You don't have to spend a rune or be adjacent with your hero to the realm. Dude, you gotta you just gotta show her the show her the minis, Mike. Just do it. Just do it. I mean, isn't that a good thing she's gonna like the minis? What are you afraid of? Does she's gonna wanna keep it? What's up? Good. Good. Show it to her. Show it to her. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, Mike. Uh, we got uh, <laughs> uh, Lords of Rag, uh, Lords of Rag, uh, Ukard, Realms of the Giants. Let's see, what we got so there are four, yeah, four Frost Giant models. All right, let's see, let's see what we got. Cards under here. There is a little bit left. Okay. Get rid of that box. Uh, I've got the rule book. I've oh, got Utgard. 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 This is for a two player. Okay, so it's a little bit bigger. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. So this is for the three or more, and then this is for the two players. Okay. I'm with you now. I'm with you. And we have the Giants. Very cool artwork. That is amazing. That is amazing. And then so in here we have the four. We have their artifact cards. Here are the four Giants. I'm just like blown away by each one. The sculpts are just so cool. Yeah, these guys look great. Look at this, look at this. I know Curtis doesn't like this theme, right? With the sci-fi mixed in, but even he can't deny how good these minis look. Some of the best, for sure. Some of the best. I got this guy right here. We. Those are the giants. Giants is a monster. Frost giants cannot be controlled when activated. Roll the monster die once for all frost giants. Each frost giant only moves by one region. Frost giants cannot move to a region with another frost giant. Resolve their movement separately one by one. Each frost giant triggers stomp during movement. A player may start a hunt on the frost giants in the region with at least one frost giant miniature. If they do, place all Frost Giant miniatures in a region with their hero. When a player slays Frost Giants, they gain one miniature to represent one slain monster and return the rest to the box. So what, they all come to your location to fight you? Holy crap. Reminds me of uh, Night King's Resurrected Giants. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, dude. Yeah, dude, it looks... Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, look at this guy. Yeah, you're right. You are right. Yeah. Good call. Good call. 
And let's just read uh, the artifact real quick. And whenever I hear Game of Thrones, I was, it's always bittersweet. It's always bittersweet. Artifact here. Uh, fro the Giant's Mace. <clears throat> Use at the start of your turn. Decrease the value of one army in a region with your hero by one. That army must withdraw. And I'm, I'm so excited to play this. I actually think after the stream, I might set up. I'll just start looking over stuff again. And then we have the runes. And then lastly, we just have the... Uh, I thought I opened this already. We have the playmat. There we go. Lady Mormon is her only weakness. <laughs> is she in here? All right, let's see. All right, here we go. These are the runes. Okay, these are these are tiny. Yeah, so they're about as small as the other. So I won't take them out, but they are plastic. You see the rune symbols on them right there. So there's four different kinds. Ooh, that's gonna be that's gonna be a little hard to see. That's gonna be a little hard to see. Like if you just want to go like just reach over and grab one, is that is that the right one? Is that the right one? But they are cool, no doubt. I'm assuming they're runes. Yeah, so I guess are these runes as well? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but these are really cool. These are really cool. Really cool stuff. These are sweet, man. I like these a lot. Awesome. Very cool. And then let's check out the... Uh, the playmat. Let's check out the playmat. Yeah, and I think that's I think that's it. Let's put this back in here for now. Ooh, um. So is the playmat going to be double-sided then for solo and the other side for more, more players? Let's find out. It's big. It is a monster. It is double sided. It is double sided. Okay, so on this, they actually give you places for all of your cards. You set that all up right up there. Just go down here is your board. Is this a is this a little smaller than the and I'd be okay with that. I don't think so. This is probably the same size board. Actually, now it actually adds all this. So is this layout a little bit smaller for multiple players? Oh, well, here's the big uh here's a bigger side it looks like. Okay, 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 okay. So this looks like it's the same thing. It's just Ugh. I gotta say I don't like that. I do not like that. It's just so distracting. 
I mean, if I had a nitpick. I mean, the, other than that, it's it's fantastic. Stitch edging, uh, it's it's hefty. Uh, but yeah, I do not like this this line. It's just distracting. You know, you don't want that. I can see, you know, they're trying to say that isn't, this is fifth player, but still at the same time. Like, I'm sure you could have done something else besides these gray dashes. Yeah, the rune symbol stood out more. Yeah, I agree. Uh, paint the runes with a wash. Yeah, I, I agree. 100%. Tim. Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, this is... Uh, so it says down here, this side is two players, uh, and this side is for five. I mean, I, I get it. I do get it. You know, they want to make that... Uh, they want to distinguish that, but I just feel like they could have done something else there. I don't know. I mean, it's probably, I'm probably not going to mind it too much when I'm playing and stuff like that. I don't know. It just, it just feels a little distracting to me. You just have like, you have this beautiful board, right? This, this majestic land and all this cool stuff. And then you just got this. This this uh, gray dotted line going through it, but I mean it does like it does look amazing. It looks fantastic. Let's see if there's anything else. Yeah, it is it is sweet. Where's the uh, where's the terrain? Yeah, I mean this this stuff. Just having this stuff out here. What is that one? That's cool. That is cool. Really like that. Yeah, this looks fantastic. I, I do like the mat a lot. It is really nice. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of... I don't know. I just kind of wish... It's something small, but it just it's very distracting with this line. Not a big deal. Like I said, I'll probably get used to it, but... The mat is very nice. Very nice. Because, I mean, I figure if you just know the game, you'll just kind of be able to determine to not go over there. But, yeah. Very cool. Very cool stuff. Very happy. Very happy with all of it. It looks, it looks great. It looks, it looks amazing, man. It looks amazing. Let's feel the uh, card quality here. I've never used their sleeves. I think it was always one of those things that I was just trying to save money on back in the stuff. So I just passed on the sleeves, got them later, maybe a little bit cheaper. Oh, they feel. Oh, they're high quality. They're they're no penny sleeves. Beautiful fit. Beautiful. And there you go. Those are the sleeves. There's a bunch in here. I assume to cover every single thing. Stretch goals. Other expansions. Increase the value of the army by one. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to play this. So I think... I think I'm going to try... There's still a lot I got to get to. Uh, there's three more gear locks and too many bones I got to get to. And then... But I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm doing static on Friday. I think I'm going to try to do... A different game during the week and then maybe end on too many bones or either vice versa maybe Tuesday or Wednesday do bones another gear lock and then maybe this on Friday we'll see uh, but I do want to get to this pretty badly I do really want to try this out this looks really good 
I'm happy with everything. Uh, very high quality, what you would expect from Awakened Realms. I'm happy I got the sun drop. It looks fantastic, man. It's going to be hard to not go the sun drop route from now on. It just, it looks that good. It looks that good. Very happy with it. Um, yeah, I guess the artwork, or the art book, I won't spend too much. I won't flip through every page, but just to kind of see. Does it say the artwork? Uh, Marson Sweercott. Is that who does all their... And then we got Patrick Dredashgik. I'm, I'm probably butchering that. Is that... That's who does most of their work, right? Marson Sweercott. I think so. Fantastic job, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's awesome. That's so cool. I said I wasn't going to go through every page, but it's uh, it looks really cool. Yeah, this ship is just... I don't know, man. That's, that's so badass. There's Loki right there. There you go. Nemesis Sundrop pulled me in. Uh, Great Wall blew me away. Yeah, and I have Great Wall, but I don't have the Sundrop. And even those, like, they looked incredible. I can just imagine the, the Sundrop on those as well. Every time from now on, it's going to be hard not to, Rufus, for sure. I still think they look good, Brian. I still think they looked really good. But yeah, like I said, I can imagine uh, Sundrop probably just looks incredible. Does this, does this not, I do just want to go back to this. Does this not, like, does anybody else think this is, uh, who else has this? Brian, do you have this? All right, like, is this okay to you? Do you have the mat? I don't know, there's just something about it. It's just something about the line. I think it's, I think it's okay. It'll probably grow on me a little bit. It's just weird. I would have just wanted something else. I'm just, I'm just really nitpicking. <laughs> I'm just really nitpicking right now. I mean, is this is this just a me thing? Is this just a me thing? And it's totally fine if it is. It's probably not. It's probably not that bad. Uh, I guess it's. I guess it's not that bad. Oh, so that's why. Okay, I'm with it. Cause I was like, I mentioned on the board for solo. Or co-op, I wish they would have oriented it differently, but that's why. Because you're just, they needed it because that actually became, that was the board for the fifth player expansion. Yeah. So the line won't affect me, yeah. I mean, is there is there a reason, like, you just couldn't, is this, is it the exact same? Oh, well, let's see. We got four, two, three, five. So they are diff, yeah, they are different values, right? Yeah. So they are different values. Okay, okay. So I was gonna say, maybe you just play with this without, and then just cut this off, but. Yeah, that's cool though, man, that's cool. Well, the, with the player three or four, so the line won't affect me. Are you going to be playing with this side then? Because it looks like... Oh, yeah, because that's either 2 or 5. I see. I see. So this is strictly only for 3 and 4. 
only for three and four players. Where's the dial? Okay, all right. Really wouldn't bother me too. Yeah, it's probably just a me thing. I don't know. I feel like one right now. It's just one of those things. I just can't not see it. But, uh, but I think it's. I think it's fun. I think it's fun. And I do wish. I guess I would still. How would I play? I guess on the channel. Yeah, I definitely have to turn it to try to fit on screen. Uh, but I think maybe like if I'm doing. If I'm just doing solo, like by myself, is there a way I can just do this? Maybe just have like player boards, you know, just over here or something. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's okay. Yeah, okay. All right. I don't know. Maybe there could have been like a slightly lighter gray or something. I don't know. This is probably just something unreasonable, but, but yeah, everything else is, I mean, the mat itself is very cool as well. I'm, I'm happy I got the mat. I think it's, I think it's awesome. But again, production off the charts. Gotta love Awaken Realm stuff. They're, they're at the top end. Um, and every time, you know, that I'm getting one of their games, man, I really look forward to it just because of stuff like this. The quality is so good. And plus generally I really like their games. So I have uh, I have kind of high expectations for this. Um, I'm not already going into it thinking it's going to be better than Hellas or anything like that. And again, I did mention I think Mike I think it was Mike from One Stop Co-op Shop mentioned about the uh, are is it the Ragnarok cards? There was something that it was like he was like a mixed on, and I think it was the Ragnarok cards. Like maybe Ragnarok or the End Game got triggered prior to feeling like you could do everything that you wanted to do. I think it was something like that. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna butcher it too much, but so if that is the case, you know, I might just try to change that up a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But either way, fantastic. Really happy with it. I'm really looking forward to it. So I think again, I think I'm gonna try it's either going to be next week or the week after that I'm gonna try to get to this. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Take a, uh, you know, look out for that. Should be coming hopefully very soon. And yeah, guys, that's going to be uh, the unboxing. That is going to be the unboxing. Maybe Steven already bought it. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, guys. An hour and uh, 50. I think that's a good time to call it too. And then Friday, we're going to be doing uh, Too Many Bones again. So we're going to do, be doing Static against Cinder. Excited about that one as well. So a lot of cool stuff coming up. Um, I don't know exactly how it works. If you Is there a bell on the channel, on the main channel, or do you have to click the bell on the video? I don't know. I don't know. But... All right, Tim said night. Great stream. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate everybody stopping by. Hope you enjoy uh, playing as much as we did. I hope so too, Brian. I'll let you know, man. I'll keep you posted. But yeah, guys, we'll call it there. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by, spending your Wednesday night with me. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed. Really looking forward to this one. Playthrough is coming soon. So, guys, have a great rest of your night. Until next time, grab some brews, play some games. I'll catch you on the next one. All right, guys. Peace.